Hello, today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little treat holder for our 12 days, 12 weeks I should say of Christmas. It holds two Hershey's milk chocolate candy bars. So first what I'm going to do is show you how to take our silver glimmer paper and make it any color that you would like. So what you're going to do is, there's a couple different ways you can do it. One way is punch the shape that you want or cut the size that you want. I'm using the ornament punch, so I punched that. Then take one of our sponge daubers and the ink pad color of your choice, and you're just going to dab that ink over the top of the glimmer paper. Now, this is less messy way. Um, I prefer this way myself. Um, but the only problem is, is you're going to get glitter on your ink pad. So if you're fussy about your ink pads, you're not going to want to do it this way. If you don't like that way, then what you're going to do is you're going to put your re-anchor. This is the same color, garden green. I just put it in an empty little container. I'm going to punch another ornament. Then you're going to take our aqua painter that has water in it and you're going to pick up some of that ink and you're going to squeeze a little bit of water with that and put that over the glimmer paper. The only thing with this technique, doing it this way, is it is wet so you either need to set it aside to dry or you need to heat set it. Believe it or not, when it dries, it's not going to be dark like that. It will be just like this. They dry up the same. This was done with the sponge. The one on my project was done with the aqua painter and the re-anchor. Totally the same. Um, either way it works. So you can color any of the, um, using any of our inks or re-anchors, you can color the shimmer paint. I'll just show you a few other ones. This one here is always artichoke. It's kind of hard to see. This one here is Night of Navy. This one is Melon Mambo. And this one here is Rich Razzleberry. So they're all different and they will all come out lighter than what you think. So now that I've showed you that technique, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the treat holder. You're going to start with a piece of cardstock of your choice that is cut three and a half by 12. And I did that with our early espresso here. And then I'm, you're going to bring in our snazzy new Simply Score. And you're going to want to set your pegs at a half inch and then at three inches. And you're going to score those. Kind of hard with the camera right in my way here, but I'm going to try to get that scored for you. And then you're going to do it at three. So a half inch and then at three. Okay, and then you're going to turn it the long way. And you're going to score it at five and three quarters, and then at six and a quarter. Next, what you're going to do is you're going to come in on the side here and cut up to the score line. So you're going to cut on those score lines up to the sun, up to the next score line, like so. Then you're going to fold on all those score lines. And then you're going to, where did my sticky strip? You're going to apply a sticky strip just on one side on both tabs. Like so. 
burnish that sticky strip in there so it gets good and tacky. And then you're going to fold this up. The little tabs are going to go on the inside. Come on. And then you're going to fold the sides up like this. What I did was took the red line off from one side, fold it up, and then come around here and fold it up on that side. Okay, so now your little candy bars can fit down in there. Next, what you're going to do is decorate it. So what I did was I punched out an ornament and then I colored it with the green, the garden green. Then I'm gonna take the Glimmer Red and punch another ornament. So I have my two ornaments. I have our white ribbon and this one's cut at just about four inches. The best way to stick this down is to put a glue dot on each end. And then just put it down on your thing like this. This one is a little shorter, it's at three inches. And it's going to come up a little higher. Oh, that glue dot didn't stick. It sticks to my finger. This one didn't stick either. There we go. Then I'm going to take some dimensionals and pop these up. like this. Take this one, pop it up like that, and then I need to glue my little bows, which I tied using the same ribbon. Take the glue dot and stick those. Your next thing is the top. This is our designer series paper. It's double sided. The strip was cut two inches by six and three quarters of an inch and then I took our scallop edge punch and made the edge on that. Um, what you're going to do next is you're going to go ahead and apply some adhesive on there. Make sure you get on your ends. And then what I like to do is I just like to put the candy bars inside because I just want to cover up the top so you can't see them that well. So just go up high enough to where you're going to cover and come around. Like so. So when you're applying your adhesive, make sure that you come down here and here so that it doesn't get sticky in here and your candy bars will get stuck to the top. The last thing to finish it off was I just took a piece of uh, red grow grain ribbon and just tying this around in a bow like so. Where's my ribbon scissors? I have scissors that are strictly for ribbon. I marked on it ribbon only and I tie a piece of ribbon to it. So that when you're in my class, if you see this, it's for ribbon only because paper will dull your scissors very quickly. 
And then I took this little stamp from A Christmas Greeting with Something for Eating. It's from the Tags Tell Christmas stamp set. I'm gonna ink it with our garden green and we're gonna stamp that. And then we're gonna punch that out using the square scallop punch. Put a couple dimensionals on the back. that in there like that and there you go a little treat favor for Christmas give it as a gift put a gift card holder in there with the candy bars if you like and you got a sweet little gift thanks for stopping by